I was just thinking about this video and remembering that I followed some of the tips and then I went onto YouTube and saw that Miss Universe has been posting some of their videos like from over the years and I seriously was just thinking about this video and it was just posted March 29th 2020 they reposted this video of Pia Wartsback doing her everyday makeup and part of why I remembered this video in particular is because she used a lot of the products that we got from Mac because Mac was a sponsor at Miss Universe 2016 held in January 2017 in the Philippines so I remember it in particular I remember seeing it I remember having some of the products so I am going to do that that look today because it's very close to how I do my makeup normally I would say there's definitely some differences so I'm going to follow what Pia does in this video and show you guys how it works for me first up she uses a MAC primer which I used to have I really liked it but then I found this one by YSL Yves Saint Laurent and it is called the Touche Clay blur primer and I really like it, it has a bit of like a gold tint which just gives like an extra glow she actually uses like three different primers i'm just gonna use that single primer i also noticed that she uses concealer before foundation which is not something i normally do but because i'm following the video that's what i'm gonna do today i'm using this concealer by rms called uncover up she's using a couple of mac products For foundation, she uses two different colors, which I'm also going to use two different colors. This one is by Guerlain, and it's a lighter one, and so I'm going to start with that one. And Pia's using a brush, whereas I'm just going to use this beauty blender because I don't have a lot of brushes. I usually just use this or use my hands. Next, I'm using this Light Wonder, which is a Youth Boosting Perfect Skin Foundation by Charlotte Tilbury, and it's a little bit darker than the Guerlain, so I'm going to blend that into the lighter color of the Guerlain to just kind of give a little bit more dimension. <laughs> Pia then uses this like sponge brush thing to like blend everything which is kind of what this does for me is like blend it as I'm going. Next we have to seal it as Pia says with a translucent powder. I am so stunned right now. I had two other translucent powders with me and I was walking around and holding Lily and now I don't know what I did with them but luckily I have two other ones. So I'm going to use this one called Wowder by Glossy. And I don't usually do the baking of the under eyes, but because Pia did that in this video, that's what we are going to do. Now, I learned this trick from Pia of using different shades for your eyebrows. In her words, she says it doesn't look good when you use one shade, but to be honest, in everyday life, for just like everyday easy makeup, like mom life makeup, I just use one shade just because I don't take the time to use more than one. So these are actually the same product that she's using. Two of these are the exact same color, Lingering and Fling, and then this one is a darker one by IT Cosmetics. So the darker one she uses on the ends and to kind of like define the brows, which I've pre-defined brows already, so I don't need to do too much of that. And then the lighter colors are to just give more dimension, to give like a 3D effect to the brows. So that is what we are going to do. My eyebrows look thick, I don't know. Now we're gonna brush away this under eye situation. Oh yeah, mm-hmm, oh yeah. It's baked there, yeah. Does it look good? Eyeshadow. So this palette is the closest one I feel like I have to what she uses. Hers I think is a Laura Mercier one. So I'm gonna combine this pinkyish color and this one, because she uses a color called Guava, I think. So it's just kind of like a natural pinky-ish situation. And now it's time to contour in the inner crease, which is something I do normally. And this just adds some definition to the eye and allows your eye to look bigger and to stand out. 
And then she does some defining on the bottom with a darker powder. So that is also something I, I used to do more than I do now. I don't really do it now, actually. Now something that I also don't usually do, but I have done before, is do the tight line on the upper lash line. And I know a lot of people are afraid to do this. The first time a makeup artist wanted to do this on me, I was a little bit nervous. But you kind of lift like your upper lid and then put like a darker color up there. Oh my god, <laughs> does that look any different? I don't really know. And then to open up the eyes, this is something I have always done that she does as well, and that is to put a nude liner on the bottom inner, the waterline. And as you can see, I need a new liner because this is this one is basically done. Now time for mascara. Of course, curl the eyelashes first. Pia used a MAC mascara and I'm gonna use this one by Milk Makeup. It's called Kush Mascara. It's not waterproof. I almost always use waterproof mascara, but lately I've been trying to use non-waterproof just to be a little less harsh on my eyelashes, but because it's winter and when you go out, your eyes water, and I just feel like even when I don't wear waterproof mascara throughout the day inside, when I'm when my eyes are dry, I still feel like the mascara gets under my eyes, giving me like that, you know, raccoon effect. If you're wondering what that sound is, it's Brennan playing Mario Odyssey or Super Mario Odyssey. Same thing, whatever. Now it's time for contouring, so I'm gonna use this palette by Charlotte Tilbury. Pia is using MAC again. This one is the Film Star Bronze and Glow. So she shows that to get that contour, you go like this or just like under along your cheekbone. For blush, she uses the NARS Dolce Vita and I'm going to be using the Charlotte Tilbury Cheek to Cheek Swish Pop blusher in ecstasy for lips she uses like a lighter kind of tone which I normally don't go this light but I have this one so I'm going to use it and see what it looks like mm. This one is by Edward Beast and it is Naked Blossom. I don't know, this is kind of a weird one for me, I'm not sure. And then a bit of shine, so some gloss. And finally, highlighter. This is like my favorite part, so I'm excited. I'm going to use the highlight part from this Charlotte Tilbury. Palette. Just because it's like it's not too aggressive. It's a bit more natural, which I feel like this look is a bit more You know on the natural Ish, I mean it's not natural, but you know what I mean. It's not like super glam That's it what do you guys think? Should I do this more often? What do you think, Mitter? <laughs> do you like my makeup? She's saying hi to Pia on the computer screen. <laughs> so that is it. And um, I don't know what else to say. Was this fun to watch? I don't know. What do you think? What do you think? Oh, thank you so much. Oh, that, oh that's... <laughs> Can I have some? Can you put some on me? Thank you. All right, if you guys want to see more from all of us and hear Brennan playing Mario Odyssey in the background, then <laughs> you can hit subscribe or just keep watching the next videos on the end screen. And that's it. We'll see you in the next video.